2,960 pounds, Flagstaff E-Pro 19 FD coming in on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Kind of crazy. You know, people are going nuts for these things brand new because they're, they're really cool. Like, if you take those stickers off and you put those stickers on, that's the Rockwood 19 FD Geo Pro over there. They are uh, the same physical trailer, just different decals. Previous owners generally enjoyed this, must have, because they actually swapped this 19FD E-Pro for the 19FBS Rockwood Geo Pro. Basically, instead of a Murphy bed, they just wanted a sofa slide, and that's the only reason it's here, because other than that, it looks to have been enjoyed and generally well maintained. I think used and not abused is really the message of the day on this one. And the previous owner went through, did a couple little things to help enhance some storage because one of the hiccups of little trailers is they typically don't have a great deal of storage capacity. Now before we get there, this was built with the factory larger roof air conditioner. You can see we've got good LED lighting around here and we've also got a double vaulted roof. They actually have two vaulted sections that they seam together, which is why you have that uh, seam running the length of the roof right there. That's how they get the bigger looking and feeling interior on this. You might notice on that Murphy bed right there, there's that little brown sort of shelf rack. They did that just to kind of make that a little bit more of a functional storage space. But if we look down here below the Murphy sofa, you see that they created for themselves some extra drawers to really maximize interior storage. And I'll say they did a pretty good job of it. Those That is like the full depth of the sofa. Slides right open to you. You've got sort of a his and a hers thing going on. You can open them together or separately. And they're large enough. This is the um, galvanized rolled steel side mount little utility table that comes with this new from the factory that you use, uh, well you could use rather, for the Coleman camp grill that's still present and accounted for. And that's kind of an, another thing here. I've noticed that everything came from the factory is still here. They didn't like scavenge and pick little pieces off of this thing. So they added a ton of easy access storage there so you don't have to lift up the sofa. The right side is still sort of like a miniature hanging closet, but you can see how they added a shelf to the left side there to give us some decent uh, like dresser space up top as well. And the sofa is nice for daytime living space, but at night, you need to kind of put the sofa away, you flip the bed out, and you've got yourself a nice little walk around camp queen here. And both sides have those, uh, you know, outlets and side stands, so you're not going to feel like you're sleeping in a coffin. It's pretty friendly for CPAP users. It is why I call this thing 10 pounds of sugar in a 5 pound sack. And you might notice those, uh, like, nylon buckle straps that you have there. What those allow you to do is keep the bed made up all the time so you don't have to make the bed and then take all your bedding apart every morning and every night. Flipping around to our kitchen, all the cabinet hardware still looks like it's working pretty well, like our overhead door struts. They're not worn out, which means somebody wasn't too rough on them or anything like that. Down here we've got our stainless sink and you see that flush mount stove top and the counter extension leaf giving us some prep space. Another little look at that Coleman camp grill. Now, down below, they do give you a drawer, so at least you have a spot for some silverware, utensils, whatnot. And this one was built without the optional oven, which is uh, how the bulk of these seem to be preferred. And instead, what you have is just this big extra chunk of storage. And kind of like they did up in that bedroom cabinet, you can see how they added a shelf right there to give us some extra storage capacity. This has a 5 cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer. There is a small freezer pocket in the top of that. So basically, this thing has the same size refrigerator as a two-door fridge freezer. It just has half of the freezer size. That's the difference there. Um, over here, you can see the factory uh, installed 12-volt TV. It's actually a dual source. It can be 12-volt or 110. So especially with that solar panel installed, it makes this pretty off-grid friendly. And that's the solar controller, that black box right below it. And your DVD Bluetooth, pardon me, not DVD, the TV itself has an integrated DVD player. The black square to the left of the TV is our Bluetooth uh, stereo, and it does have an HDMI plug right in the front, so you want to throw a little Roku stick on it, you can. I've noticed all the remote controls are present. Interestingly, on the roll-down nightshades, I noticed that uh, the, uh, the thick plastic thing that you can grab at the bottom, it looks like it was removed. And it looks like it was removed on a couple of the shades, which surprised me. The only guess that I have with that is the one thing I will tell you, sometimes if you move around the camper, the, the plastic part of that just kind of goes tink, 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 tink against the wall, and it gets really annoying very quickly. Maybe the folks just didn't want to deal with it. I'm not sure. 
Down below here, we've got our dinette, which can fold down into an extra storage space. And if you take note on that near uh, dinette bench right there, you can see that that does have a storage door that opens up. So you don't have to dig everything out. Now, there's not storage below this seat. That's where things like our water pump are located. You, uh, you to, to winterize it, you'll actually want to take the uh, top of that seat off. That's where those mechanical objects will be found. Small campers, that's something that they just kind of have to do. Our bathroom area is simple but effective. I love that they include a separate sink in here so you don't have to wash your bathroom hands in the kitchen sink. And that uh, vaulted ceiling plus that skylight is really going to help folks like me who are a little taller than the average bear. Max Air vent fan with roof vent cover straight from the factory here. Looking good. Obviously, they didn't let that thing get wrecked and gross and whatnot. Then down here, this is something Rockwood's always good about. They're always good about lots of storage in the bathroom. But previous owners uh, added this little sort of pocket area where they could reach in and grab, I don't know what, it worked for them. But I love the fact that after they routed it out, they fully finished it off. Nice little touches. So whoever owned this, they made a couple small modifications, but they didn't do any sort of hillbilly jury rigging. Everything they did looks to have been done pretty nicely. Now, as a Rockwood dealer, we naturally know our way around these pretty darn well. One of the cool things on these is they use a ton of Asdell. They don't use a whole lot of anything else in their site. Like, they don't use Luon in their lamination construction on this product right here. So the, uh, you know, the roof, the sidewalls, all that kind of stuff, it's uh, aluminum skeleton packed with high-density bead foam and a, uh, uh, not a, a Luon, Asdell interior exterior layering. So that's, that's a very rare and common thing. That, and they're also using a different lighter weight chassis on this that you see on a lot of ultralight trailers. Uh, they're, the whole point of this is to make it as big as possible, but never over 3,000 pounds. You know, never over 20 feet. And this one rides both of those lines. Actually, this is 20 foot on the nose, tip to tail. It also has a very interesting body size. It's an oddball 7 foot 4 feet wide. Um, usually, you run into either 8 foot or 7 foot wide trailers, occasionally 7, 6. I think they built a 7 foot wide trailer and went, hey, wait a minute, we've got enough allowance here, we could make it a little bit bigger and still be within our target uh, range. I think at one point someone may have had a backup camera on this that had been removed because that prep looks to have been utilized. You can see the roof cover over that vent fan, and you can't really see it here from ground level. But if you look just to the right and forward of that vent fade, you might see a little antenna sticking up. That's where the Wi-Fi Ranger is located. And next to that, this does have built right into it a 100-watt solar panel. So that's one of the cool things on these is that right out of the box, they were always kind of off-grid ready. Probably didn't even have to put a video together on this. We have people calling us all the time asking us, do you have any used GeoPros? And I don't mean to be rude, but it's almost laughable because you can not you can barely keep them in stock brand new, let alone find one used. This is the first one of these I've ever personally seen in the used market here at Halo RV. And if it lasts through the weekend, I think I've failed at what I do. So give us a call. It's late model enough, it may qualify for same as new RV finance. And if you're like the other folks, if you just prefer the one with the slide out, we've only got about 500 other options here. Some of those including the FBS uh, Rockwood Geo Pro, just like the folks took home themselves. So, hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. We only do everything. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.